day today's a beautiful day and i hope we all enjoyed god We've been enjoying god since the beginning of the week today's tuesday 23rd june 2020 our team is be courageous our passage is taken from the book of second timothy 1 1 to 2. second timothy 1 1 to 2. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, according to the promise of the life which is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve with a clear conscience, as did my fathers when I remember you constantly in my prayers. As I remember you, as I remember your tears, I. I long night and day to see you, that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwells first in your grandmother, Louis, and your mother, Eunice, and now I am sure dwells in you. And I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying of, the hands, of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, love, and self-control. Do, do not be ashamed then of testifying to our, our Lord, not nor of me, his prisoner, but share in suffering for the gospel in the power of God, who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not in virtue of our works, but in virtue of his own purpose, and the grace which he gave us in Christ Jesus ages ago. And now, as manifested through the appearing of our Savior Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. For the gospel, I was appointed a preacher and apostle and teacher, and therefore I suffer as I do, but I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed. And I am sure that he is able to guard unto that day what has been entrusted to me. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Be courageous. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, enjoyed young Timothy to stir up the gift of God that was in him. The use or practice of those gifts will qualify. For the work of an evangelist, there is no doubt that Timothy had the Holy Ghost in his in the extraordinary gifts and grace conferred on him by the laying on of the apostles' hands, and so the only hindrance to us to use of the gift is fear, and so the only hindrance to use of the gift is fear, and so the only hindrance to use of the gift is fear. This is exactly why the man with one talent failed to put his own to trade. Fear is the handwork of the devil. Paul therefore warns Timothy against this in verse 7, that God has not given us the spirit of fear or timidity, but spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. God has armed us against the spirit of fear by often bidding us not to fear. Timothy was a young man when he took up the work of God. He had to address and to pretend over widows, old men, old women, youths, and children. He had, to, he had to get along with each of them. Brethren, fear not the face of men. Fear not the dangers you may meet within the way of your duty. God urged Joshua to be strong and of courage and of good courage to enable him to succeed in the task ahead. Joshua 1 6. You need Jesus Christ in your life. It is Christ in you that will cause you to be courageous. We need to be courageous in our daily activities, especially now that the incidents of kidnapping, armed banditry, economic meltdown, and all forms of disorders are on the increase in our nations and are all and all over the world. We need to be closer to God to be courageous. Praise God. Today's devotion is more like a lifting up of our spirit, encouraging us for what is to come. That no matter what you are passing through, no matter what is going on, we need courage to face whatever 
easier to come we need courage to to face whatever is in the world we can see that even in our world today our country is experiencing so many ups and downs so many things are happening and things are not going the way it should go all we need is not for us to fear but for us to face it with courage for us to ask for us to be of good shape because god himself has he promised us that he has overcome the world only for us to be of good shape and believe in him strongly believe in him in the case of timothy here yeah, timothy was a man he was he was who poor 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 had to encourage him because he said that okay fine timothy had everything he needed to have he was able to do the work of an evangelist very well but the only thing he had as an interest was fair he was very timid about what to do so paul had to encourage him that see you have the spirit of god your mother has it your grandmother has it and i believe that you also have it already in you and the only thing that might hinder you from fulfilling the purpose of god for your life is just fear fear is a, is a weapon that the devil uses even to to destroy Christ, uh, christian nowadays christian nowadays they, they we tend to fear at every issue that comes that comes our way it is not ourselves but the work of the devil is just that it wants us to draw back for us to fear that oh this thing is actually not going to be possible i don't think i'll be able to do this but if you face it with courage that yes i god is able to do and he will surely do for me i will face it with good courage we are so confident in our in the cry in our christ jesus we are so confident in, in our belief in christ jesus we, are, we have faith truly the lord will surely bring it to pass and things will work even in our own way be courageous it's a charge this morning for us to face whatever we are going to do today with courage let us do away with fear fear is not a good element of a christian fear is not meant to be seen in christians fear is a is a thing that that destroys our christianity it destroys our faith in christ jesus i pray the lord would grant unto us the grace for us not to fear at every little thing but for us to believe in him always in jesus name amen i pray our god endow me with your spirit of power and the courage to do exploits for you amen remember about second timothy 1 8 second timothy 1 8 therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony of our lord nor of his prisoner but share with me in the sufferings of the gospel according to the power of god thou should not be afraid of the gospel of jesus christ we should preach the gospel with all sincerity we should preach the gospel with every courage and every being in us we should not we should not preach the gospel we should not be like okay fine if i should talk if i should preach the gospel i might i might get um apprehended or something but paul in his own time he preached the gospel that's why he found that he was being held bound with fetters of iron with so many things yet he was even in prison he was still doing the work of his father because he had faith and he was so courageous about what he was doing and because he had asked for grace from from god and god has actually enabled him for him to believe and for him to do the work diligently and he was determined in his acts methodist in book onward christian soldiers onward christian soldiers let us close our eyes and say that lord jesus i pray that today as i move on today you help me lord jesus to be courageous you help me lord jesus to do away with fear that the spirit of fear has not been given unto me but i've been given the spirit of i've been given grace i've been given the spirit of power to become the son of god to to say and it will surely come to pass i have been given the spirit to be an heir i am an heir of an, an heir of righteousness i'm partaker of the kingdom of god and yet i do not have any spirit of fear in me i pray that lord jesus they grant unto me the courage to face my day today grant unto me the courage to face whatever i might be laying my hands upon today and i shall be successful and i shall i shall bring out good success even in today help me lord jesus that when today shall come to an end let me have the focus to glorify your name i am blessed today i am favored today grace mercy shall follow me all the days of my life in jesus name amen thank you for joining us again today so we'll come your way again tomorrow enjoy god and be blessed Bye bye